how to print email messages in Gmail. The first thing you need to do is open up your browser and then navigate to mail.google.com. Once you're here, you'll need to log into your Google account. Once done, you'll be taken into your Gmail inbox. If you're on mobile, you'll simply need to open up the Gmail application and then log into your Gmail account. As you can see, guys, I'm currently logged into my Gmail account here and I'm currently in my inbox and in the promotions tab here, as that is where the email that I'm going to be printing today is located. So as you can see, guys, we only have one email message in the promotions tab here, and that is an email from Netlify team. Once you have located the email message that you would like to print, simply open it. So I'm just going to open up this email message, guys. Great, guys. So the email message is now open. I'm quickly going to show you how this email message currently looks like. So I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and then all the way back to the top here. To print this email message, what we'll need to do is navigate to the top right hand corner here of the email message to this little print icon here which when hovered over says print all all you need to do is simply left click on it once done a new tab will open as you can see on the left hand side here we have the print preview of the email message that we would like to print as you can see the email message does not fit on one page so if we scroll all the way down here we can see the number of pages as you can see there's two pages here in the print preview if we look to the right hand side here you can see the print settings so at the very top here it tells you the number of pages that will take to print your email message underneath here you've got the destination the destination simply means which printer would you like to send this email message to so that it can print if by default your printer is not selected then what you'll need to do is left click on this drop down arrow here and you'll have the option to select your printer now if you still don't see your printer from this drop down menu here left click on see more you should then get a full list of every printer that you have installed drivers for on your current computer or device my printer guys is the HP printer here so I'm simply going to left click on it to select it underneath destination we have pages you have the option to choose what pages you'd like to print I'm going to leave it as all copies the number of copies that you would like to print of your email message layout you can choose portrait or landscape for color you can change the color to black and white or keep it in its natural colors right at the bottom here you have more settings so I'm just going to simply left click on these here and as you can see you can select the paper size pages per sheet margins quality of your print scale and more options here for headers and footers. So if I select this, you'll be able to see at the very top the subject of the email that you'd like to print, as you can see right there. And at the very bottom here, you can see the footer with the link of our email message in Gmail. So you can leave that checkmarked or not checkmarked. I'm not going to checkmark that as it looks more aesthetically pleasing without having that check marked. You can also select the background graphics here. So I'm going to check mark that as that will include the gray background that we had in our original email. You'll get as close of a match as possible when you select background graphics. And below background graphics, you have the option to print using system dialogue. And lastly, right at the bottom here, you have the option to print or to cancel. Of course, guys, we're going to print. To print, all you need to do is left click on print. Once done, your email message will be sent to your selected printer. And if we look to the bottom right hand corner here to our taskbar tray, you can see that we have one document pending. I currently don't have my printer connected to my computer, hence why it's currently pending instead of printing. And that pretty much concludes the video guys on how to print email messages in Gmail. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so